I'm going to show you how to work with phyllo pastry. Phyllo pastry comes from Greece. It's a very fine pastry, a bit like paper. It comes rolled up like this. So the first thing you want to do is just unroll it. As you can see how fine it is, you'll get a lot of sheets in a pack. Now, the important thing to do is keep it covered while you're working on it. If it dries out, it becomes really brittle and it might crack when you're rolling or trying to shape with it. So I'm using a clean, slightly damp tea towel and I'm just going to keep it covered like that at all times while I work on some sheets. So you take a sheet at a time and then cover the rest. And you need to brush the sheets with either melted butter or if you want to be a bit healthier, something like olive oil or sunflower oil. Because the sheets are so thin, you need to build up layers. So I'm doing this, so when I get another sheet, it will stick to this one. So just a thin layer of butter brushed over the sheet. I'll go back to my pastry, and I'm going to get another sheet. And just put that over and smooth it down. Now, the number of sheets you'll need will be depend on what you're doing with it. I'm just going to do three for these. And I'm going to get my third sheet to cover. And that's basically how you work with the phyllo. I'm going to make some little samosa parcels. So what you want to do is cut a strip the size of the parcel you want. I'll do some little small ones which are going to be perfect for kind of canapes or nibbles. So take one strip, cut down like that. And again, while I'm not using this second strip, I'm going to put it back under my tea towel, keeping it moist. I'm going to use a little bit of cranberry and brie to fill these, which is a classic kind of combination. Put a dollop of the cranberry on. A little bit more. And what you need to do is you just, you're going to be folding the corner of your pastry over like that. So you just need to check that your filling's in the right place. Now I'm going to pop on some brie. And to start, I'm just going to brush the edge with a bit of butter. Because that's going to be the first bit that's going to stick down. So as I showed you before, you're going to follow the fold. So you're making a triangle, and that's the base of your pastry. And then you just want to follow folding where the line dictates. So that's going to be a straight fold to there. Then got a diagonal, so fold it diagonally. Another straight, fold it straight again. And then you've got your last one, which is going to be to seal. So I'm going to brush it with butter again, quite liberally this one, because we want this to stick. We don't want any filling to escape when it's cooking. And then fold across to seal, press it down. And that's how you make a little triangle parcel of phyllo. To bake it, I brush it again with some more butter. You could sprinkle this with seeds, something like sesame or poppy seeds, to make them look a little bit prettier. So that's finished. Pop it on a baking tray and they'll bake like that in an oven. It'll take about 10 minutes at about 200 degrees. And that's how you'd work with phyllo pastry.